hey guys welcome to another video how are you guys doing well this week has been a very eventful week if you've not been in the crypto market well the market has really been very eventful so um let's just get started with bitcoin so as we can see with bitcoin bitcoin fell all the way from fifty two thousand dollars thereabouts all the way back down to forty five thousand dollars so this was a let's say this was a 20 percent drop basically so now let's answer the question is this abnormal and should you be worried right i mean it is out of the blue the way it actually sharply fell but then again bitcoin has done this in the past right he did this when it was at um dollars. it fell all the way sharply down to forty nine thousand dollars, right multiple times in bitcoin's past it has done something like this if you guys remember for a while i've been telling you guys where the levels are where the resistances are where the supports are and um in last week's video i told you guys that when bitcoin closes above fifty one thousand dollars and fifty two thousand dollars right it should continue to go up but i also told you guys that you should also still keep your buy limit at forty five thousand dollars because that was where the support was and the market had not gotten to that level in a while because one thing is that when the market breaks a resistance it comes back to retest it as support and currently now what the market currently did was just retesting its support so as you can see the market sharply fell all the way from fifty two thousand dollars and where did it settle around it settled at $45,000. It even came down as low as $42,000, right? But it came back sharply above to rise above $45,000. So right now it's sitting at around $45,000. So if you want to buy some Bitcoin, now is the perfect time to buy some Bitcoin, right? So is this a bad thing that it actually happened? No, it's actually perfect. In fact, it's very healthy for the markets to do this. So should you be worried? absolutely not the market is doing exactly what it's supposed to do so obviously since bitcoin actually came down this much it's definitely going to affect the rest of the market as well which means more buying opportunities for you in those other affected markets so let's take a look at some of the other affected markets so this is ethereum classic um i reviewed this as well last week Last week when I reviewed Ethereum Classic, it was sitting at around um, $75 thereabouts. And I believe I told you guys to actually get into the market if you would like to because chances of the market continuing on to the top was high. But since Bitcoin happened and came back down in price, we can see that Ethereum Classic has come back down to retest its support again. So the market broke resistance, which was... $57, which I said was a very significant level for Ethereum Classic to break. Immediately broke it. It was just a matter of time for it to start going up and it started doing that. But now, since Bitcoin came down in price, it has come back down again, back down to the $55 level and it's currently sitting at around that place. So, if you would like to buy some Ethereum Classic, now is the perfect time to buy it. That significant level that is right to buy it at. The market is currently there so it's perfect time for you to buy some ethereum classic and um you can also still set another buy limit at the 30 to 40 dollars range so you can still set another buy limit there just in case if the market comes back down to that area you can still pick up some cheap ethereum classic at that price but right now ethereum classic is just at the perfect price to get it all right so let's talk about v chain um vchain as at last week i was telling you guys it had broken its major resistance of 14 cents and it was starting to move on to the top but since bitcoin happened again it has actually broken back below that significant level of um, 14 cents so as long as it currently sits below that level of 14 cents chances are it could go lower but let's just see what bitcoin does and um, it's currently sitting at around the price of 11 cents. So what you could do is um, buy some VeChain at current price because everything right now is just at a bargain, right? So buy some VeChain at current price and also still set a buy limit at the 9 cents range. And then if the market comes back down there, you just get in for some cheap VeChain, right? So if you're interested in that, this is what you should do. At least that's what I'm personally doing. 
all right so let's take a look at luna this um this is a crypto that one of you guys actually told me to review and by the way guys like i said i review cryptos every week so if you have any crypto whose price you would like me to look at just leave it in the comment section down below and to show up in next week's video so when i'm doing my review next week your crypto will be among the ones i review so this is luna if you want to get into some luna just set your buy limit at 35 dollars because since it has broken this resistance of 35 dollars as you can see by this huge move and this huge breakout it's coming back towards that area to retest it so chances are when it retests it it will start moving to the top from there so the plan for luna is set a buy limit at 35 dollars and just wait for the market to come down there and then it can pick up your order and then you take it all the way to the top but if you are scared of missing out and you think the market will just keep pumping from here you can put in 10 to 20 percent of your cash reserves and just buy some luna at present price but make sure that you set the rest of your order at 35 dollars all right so let's take a look at mask um this is one that i reviewed last week as well and I told you guys to actually buy it at its price of 11 to $12 because the market was actually starting to slow down around that area. So clearly, if Bitcoin had continued to move or if Bitcoin was just moving, it most likely would have moved up from there. I also said last week that you should still put your buy limit at the $8 level. Now, as you can see, the market still came back down. So it's still at around that level it's currently sitting at about eight dollar fifty cents so what you can just do is if you would like to buy some mask well now is the perfect time to buy it the market just basically came back to retest support remember what i usually say when the market breaks a resistance if it breaks a level a very significant level you can see the market it held this this level headed down the market came back down it came back to that level kind of held it down a little bit before finally breaking out when the market breaks out of a level like that it comes back down to retest it and that's exactly what it has done right now so what happens next after this is the market now continues back to the top side because it has retested it to see if basically what the market does is that when it comes when it breaks a resistance right resistance keeps the market down support keeps the market up so when the market breaks a resistance what is keeping it down breaks it to the top side when it comes back to retest it it's coming back to retest it to see if they are actually truly buyers at around that level if there are buyers there that want to push the price to the top side so people like you now people like me who set our buy limits at these areas are the people who actually push the price to the top but if there are not people if there's nobody here right or if they're not if there are not enough people here who want to buy this market than people that want to sell the market the market will just fall right back through to a level where there are people who want to buy the market and people who want to sell the market right because what moves the market up and down is people who are just buying versus people who are selling so i say i want to sell this today and this other party say they want to sell it who basically has more followers on their side or who basically has more people on their side are the people who determine the movement of the market at that given time now this doesn't mean it's the overall people who are holding that particular coin like for example now bitcoin crashed in price right that doesn't just simply mean that there are people who want to sell bitcoin than people who want to buy it it's just people who determine the price movement on the exchanges at that time right they are the ones who actually move the market so it's not everybody holding mask in their wallet or it's not everybody holding bitcoin in their wallet that want to sell their bitcoin it's just people who are on exchanges whatever is moving the price right now in the crypto market is just what is on the exchanges and not what is on people's hands okay so what i just said right now of people who want to sell are more than people who want to buy right it is true but it is not true for the overall people that are holding that asset in their hands it's just what is on the exchanges that is just determining the price of what's happening in the crypto market okay please if you don't understand that please ask me in the comment section down below or you can rewatch this bats 
but please ask me in the comment section down below because when you understand that you will not have fear your fear will basically be less because you will just know that whatever is moving the price is just what is on the exchanges and what is in people's hands are way more than what is on the exchanges okay so what is in people's hands are locked away in their private wallets the exchange doesn't have that data right but what is on the exchange has data and that is what is determining how much price moves up and how much price moves down and people actually manipulate the market this way okay so when you see bitcoin falling down in price like for example you hear a good news about bitcoin and then it falls down in price right you're kind of wondering what exactly is happening it's just people who are manipulating the market so somebody can just put in a lot of crypto right they can put in a lot of crypto and sell it so let's say they can put ten thousand bitcoin they, they have maybe 100,000 or 500,000 Bitcoin in their wallet, right? But they just put in 10,000 into the exchange because that's a lot, right? And then they sell it. And then the market goes down by, let's say, 50%, right? And then they just buy some more Bitcoin at a cheaper price. So they put in 10,000 Bitcoin to sell it to bring the price down from $65,000 to $30,000, right? Okay, so you can say they've sacrificed 10,000 Bitcoin, but then they now bought 50,000 Bitcoin. They were not able to buy 50,000 Bitcoin at a more cheaper price because they manipulated the market to come down. So they buy it at a better price and then the market recovers again. But the ordinary people who don't really understand how the market works, basically start panicking and selling their crypto. So the, that's the reason why they sell it so that those people who are novices who don't really understand how the market works and know that it's not everybody that wants to sell their Bitcoin, right? They'll start selling it and saying Bitcoin is dead. But these people have just manipulated the market for it to go down and then they just bought some cheap Bitcoin at a cheap price and then those novices don't now get in till Bitcoin recovers back to $65,000, passes $65,000. That's when they would now want to get in. But the thing is that when you're getting in at a higher price, you're basically getting lesser Bitcoin that you had gotten when you bought it at $40,000. So, Coming back to mask, I know I've spoken too much. It's just that people who wanted to sell were more than people wanted to buy. That was why it dropped from... Because I, I, if you remember, it was holding very well at $12, right? But then the people who want to sell, because of the selling pressure from Bitcoin, there were people who, now, who were now selling mask as well. But then, look at where they sold it to. They sold it to the level of $8. The reason why it's holding very well here is because there are a lot of buyers at this point in time as well but the reason why it's not moving to the top yet is partly because of bitcoin of course and also partly because they are not more buyers and they are not more sellers so basically everybody here at this point is just waiting so there are no more buyers than sellers here and there are no more sellers than buyers because if there were more sellers than buyers the price will continue to drop from this level okay so when buyers and sellers are kind of equal in numbers that's when you get the market that is stagnant that's not actually really doing anything it's just kind of like sitting at a price more or less it's the same thing that was happening here when it was slowing down and when that happens most likely the market then starts moving to the top side because it has kind of sat around that place for a while before you know buyers will take charge and start moving the market to the top side i'm sorry i know i've spoken too much i just wanted to explain to you guys to kind of understand what happens when the crypto market actually falls and when the crypto market actually moves up so once you understand the mechanics of how it works you would actually worry less and whenever the market drops in price you would actually see it as an opportunity to buy you will just basically set your limit that is why i do these videos every week to tell you okay this is the perfect place to buy so this is the perfect place to sell and I would also say to you guys and i always say it whatever i say is not financial advice and you should always invest what you're willing to lose so you should never invest more than you're willing to lose meaning the market has a mind of its own and also why i say that you should never invest more than you're willing to lose is so that whenever the market does things like this whenever the market falls by a good or a huge percentage you're not actually scared you're not actually worried because the money you can afford to wait for the market to actually recover but if you can't wait and you need to use the money tomorrow like for your rent or for something like that then you start panicking and you start selling the market when you're not supposed to sell it and then you just end up losing money and then when the market starts recovering you start regretting it anyways that's enough of me talking i'm sure you guys don't even really care about that let's just move on to the next one 
all right so this is xrp now the reason why i'm bringing in xrp right now is because xrp is sitting at a very great price so if you'd like to get in some xrp get into some xrp now all right so we can't actually do a video without covering ethereum because bitcoin ethereum they are like the major cryptos basically so ethereum is actually at a bargain but it could actually go lower as it's currently seeming to do right now it's currently sitting at the three thousand two hundred dollars range but i would say if you like to buy some ethereum you have been waiting for an opportunity i would say buy with 10 percent of your cash reserves and a major support for ethereum to get back to is the 2850 range okay or you could just round it up to 2900 so i would say set some buy limit at either 2850 or 2900 so set some buy limit there so that in case if the market comes back down to that area that is a perfect place for you to buy some ethereum so that you can ride it all the way to the top but just in case you can buy some at present price for just 10 percent of your cash reserves or 20% however you want to do it and then set the rest or set a good number at 2850 or 2900 let's just say 2900 level all right so this is cardano and if you guys remembered i i think i covered cardano last week as well and i think it was sitting at around the two dollar eighty cent level it was just very high I can't remember what I said in the last week's video, but I also, but I remember vividly saying, or I've been saying for a while, that you should set a buy limit at the two dollars and thirty cent level, because that was a good support and the market was going to come back down to that area. Well, it did. The market came back down to that area. I also said that you should also still place a buy limit at the one dollar eighty five cents level, but the market didn't quite get there. But the market definitely got to the two dollars thirty cents level. So. If you still buy it now at the present price, it's still perfect for you to do that. Alright, so this is slim. It has actually broken its major resistance of 80 cents actually. And it's currently sitting at $3. However, if you like to get into slim again or if you missed out on it, I don't really know much about this. In fact, I've never heard of it before. And it doesn't seem to be on most exchanges because I can't even find it on Binance. So, you can buy some at present price. But one thing with this um cryptocurrencies is that they tend to be very volatile so i would say just set a buy limit at one dollar just in case if it comes back down there because its major resistance of 80 cents which it just broke is where the market is most likely going to come down to so at least i would say just set a buy limit at the one dollars range all right so let's take a look at solana well guys solana has just been pumping in fact the recent move from bitcoin didn't even really affect solana in fact what it just did was came back down to like the 125 dollar level and then just kept on going to the top i still hold it that you should set a buy limit at the 49 dollars level or at least just say 50 dollars level in case if the market comes back down there but with the way solana is looking right now i really don't know because it has just been pumping and popping but regardless Set a buy limit at the $50, $50 level and then just wait for what the market does. But if you would like to get into some Solana right now, the market seems to be slowing down a little bit. It's currently sitting at around the $179 level. So if you'd like to buy some Solana, you could buy some right now for, let's say, because of the way Solana has been pumping and pumping. If I were to get into Solana right now, I would put in a little bit more of my cash reserves just because of the way it's been pumping in case if it keeps pumping up so i could put in let's say 20 percent instead of 10 percent and then just wait and then another thing i want to do something i've not done with you guys before is draw a fibonacci level fibonacci level just means the average of a move in the market you see the way the market has moved all the way from the bottom here right see the way the market has moved from this place and then it just kept moving and then it just kept moving and then it just kept moving all the way to the top it seems to have topped out at 215 dollars and then it seems to be starting to come down a little bit the fibonacci retracement basically just gives you the average of this whole move and tells you where to place a buy order so what i would do now is draw a fibonacci retracement 
don't worry if you guys don't understand it don't worry i'm just going to i'm just telling you guys where to actually put your next buy limit this whole move right now you can see this whole move all the way to the top and the market seems to be coming down right now if it obeys this Fibonacci retracement, which most of the time the ma all markets do, it's going to come down to this area. So these are basically just supports, right? They are the average of the movement of this market. And then when the market comes around here, it's coming around the average of this whole movement from the bottom to the top. So you can see there's the 38.2 level. There's the 50% level. So from here to here, right? This is half of this whole movement this 50 percent right now is half of the movement from 20 dollars to 215 dollars this is the half of the movement right now so where i would say you should place your buy limit you could put one buy limit at the 120 dollars level so you can put a buy limit right now at 120 dollars and you can also put another one at the let's say this is 96 dollars but let's just round it up to 100 dollars right or you can just put it at $96. If you just want to put one buy limit, you just want to place one buy limit, I would say place it at the $120 level. But if you want to split it, I know I'm going a little bit advanced on you guys, but I'm just basically telling you where to place a buy limit. So you can either place a buy limit at $120, just one, or you can place one at $142, or you can just make that $140. You can place another one at $120, and you can place another one at hundred dollars that is where you should place a buy limit so i'm going to say it again 140 dollars 120 dollars and hundred dollars that's where you should place your buy limit so since the market seems to be slowing down right now it could come down to those area slow down there before it starts moving to the top all right guys so i'm going to end it here i know this has been a quite lengthy video the reason why i did it is just so that i can explain a few things to you guys and just let you guys know that all this is just normal in the market so you shouldn't be worried about it and at least so you can still understand a little bit of the mechanics of how the markets work so you can kind of understand why it does what it does so remember guys if you want me to review any crypto that you're interested in and you would like to buy at a good price just let me know in the comment section down below i'll definitely review them and also if you've still got any question about anything i've explained in this video because i know i spoke a lot in this video still ask me in the comment section down below if you want me to make a particular video about something so you understand please let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video i would love to support this channel ways to do that are going to be on your screen and in the description below for more videos like this, please click on the subscribe button below and the notification bell right next to it. I release new videos every week and you'll be the first to be notified when that happens. And don't forget to like this video and share it with people who you think need to see it as well. Thank you very much and that's all for this video and I'll see you guys next week. Cheers.